And right now, feeder bands from the storm are pounding the coast. The worst is still to come. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jessica Dean. And I'm Yuki Washington. Let's give you a look at Cape Fear in North Carolina as the rain and wind begin their assault on the beach communities. More than 100,000 people have already lost power. We have team coverage on the devastating storm with the last minute preparations down south and the people fleeing to the Delaware Valley. We begin with meteorologist Kate Bilo with new information about Florence's path. Kate. And Jessica, we just got new information from the National Hurricane Center. Florence has weakened, now a Category 1 hurricane, but the hallmark of this storm will not be the wind speed, which is what the category of the storm measures. It's going to be the rain and the flooding because this storm has really slowed down. It did not come on shore with its full strength and make a landfall. It's just lurking off the coast, and it's not moving much at all. You can see the center of the eye there just sitting and spinning just off the coast of North Carolina, but this likely will not make landfall fall for likely another 12 hours or so early tomorrow morning is when the storm will come on shore. In the meantime, heavy rain bands continuing to pound the outer banks moving inland through Wilmington right now seeing some of the heaviest rain they've seen so far. We have a tornado watch. That's the area you see shaded in red there to the north of the storm. That goes until 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. So again, Florence, a category one winds at 90 miles per hour, but watch the slow movement tomorrow at 8 p.m. It doesn't move much at all. It's still just barely over inland North North Carolina. The eye will then track down toward Myrtle Beach, make a turn over toward South Carolina, and even on Sunday, it hasn't moved much. So we're talking devastating amounts of rainfall just piling in, and the storm surge as well as the winds continue to batter the coast. Storm surge will push that water up into the inland rivers as well. Then it gets picked up by a trough Sunday and spirited northward where we could tap into some of the moisture by next week. But in the meantime, Florence, a life threatening storm. Again, the hallmark of this storm will be the rain 20 to 30 inches of rain with higher amounts possible. That's going to lead to massive inland flooding. Storm surge could be up to 13 feet. That could push all the water through the rivers and tributaries, leading to inland river floods and winds of 90 miles per hour battering the coastline, especially through tonight and into tomorrow. Coming up, I'll tell you more about the impacts Florence could have on our area, both at the shore and inland as well. For now, Yuki, back over to you.